Hi guys, Miss Jessica here. I'm going to have another fun episode here of Art with Miss Jessica. This time it is for my um, pre-K friends. So, of course, anybody can do this. You can be 100 years old and you can do this part if you want because it's really fun. So what you guys are going to be doing is we're going to be making a rainbow cloud today. Um, it's going to be pretty fun. I hope you guys have a good time. Oh, see that right there? That's one of my cats. That's Dixie. She's not very friendly when I have the video player on, though, so I'm not going to try and pick her up. Um, but today you're going to make the rainbow cloud, so you just follow along with me, and we'll have a really good time making some art. Alright, my little pre kers we are going to go ahead and start our project. So the first thing we're starting with is that piece of white paper. And the first thing you're going to do, and you can have a grown-up help you with this, is we are going to take the corners, these corners, when we're doing it a long way like this, up and down, we're going to take our corners and we're going to match them to the other corners and fold our paper in half. Okay, so now that we've folded it in half, what you're going to do is open it up so it looks like a book. Okay, so now that it looks like a book, you're going to see this line here. And if you haven't used scissors very much, you can have a grown-up help you, but I'm using my scissors. And you're going to follow that line, and we're going to cut straight up on that line so that we have two pieces. One, two, and they're exactly in half. So we're going to set one, one of those pieces aside, and we're going to have this one. Okay, so now we've got our paper and it goes up, down, not side to side like this, but up and down. And we are going to work with the colors. So our first thing we're going to need, now I have colored pencils here so that it's a little bit brighter when I'm making the lines. But you're, you can use crayons if you don't want to use your colored pencils for this part. So we're going to start with the colors of the rainbow. And we're going to start with red. Is this red? Yep, that's red. So we're going to start at the top right here. See where I'm putting that line? It's kind of like about two fingers and we're going to draw a line that goes straight down just like that. See how I've got one line and it's straight down? Okay now we're going to put that red colored pencil aside or crayon and we're going to find our red crayon. Now if you need to you can turn it sideways and what you're going to do is you're going to fill in that strip. Okay, so we're going to fill in our red strip all the way. You can turn your paper if you need to. So what color do you think is going to be next? So we did red, and we're going to do the colors of the rainbow. So we do the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Remember that one? I bet you've learned it. Okay, now that we have our red done, we're going to do, so we do orange. So I'm going to grab my orange colored pencil. I'm going to go a couple little finger lengths over. And I'm going to draw a straight line all the way down to the top to the bottom so we have our next color. Then we're going to get our orange crayon and we're going to fill that in. So we're going to fill in all the way from the top to the bottom in our orange strip. Okay, so what color is next? Red, orange, yellow. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go over about two finger lengths and we're going to draw a straight line down all the way down to the bottom of the paper. And I bet you know what we're going to do next. We're going to use our yellow crayon and we're going to fill in our yellow line. I'm going pretty fast, but you guys can take your time. You can pause this video if you need to pause the video. That's okay too. Okay, so now red, orange, yellow, hmm. Green. So we're going to start at that top, a couple of finger spaces over. Remember, you can always have a mom or a dad or a grown-up help you. I'm going to go straight down, so now I've made my green line, and now I'm going to get my green crayon. My green crayon means I'm going to fill in my green strip. So here we go, filling in my green strip, going all the way down bottom of the paper. So we filled in a green strip. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Ok, 
Okay, we're making one more line here. We're gonna go from that top. We're gonna go all the way down. So now we have one, two strips left. Well, we need to fill in this one with blue. So we're gonna use our blue crayon. And we're going to fill in our blue strip. And if your line isn't perfectly straight, you don't have to have perfectly straight lines. In fact, if you want to make them wavy lines, you can make them wavy lines, but you just have to make sure you have all your lines there so we have all the colors in the rainbow. Now we don't have to draw a line on this side because we have the side of our paper, so I don't have to use my purple colored pencil. I'm just going to use my purple crayon. And now I'm going to fill in this last strip. See what I'm doing there? I'm filling all the way from the top to the bottom. Okay, so now we have this beautiful, what is that? It's a rainbow. We have a beautiful rainbow. And you can take your time, color it in how you want. So we have our rainbow. We're gonna take that and we're gonna set it aside for just a minute. And do you remember we have this piece of paper right here? This is our second half. Now what you're needing to do is we're going to make a cloud for the top of our rainbow. So if you have this other page, you see how one is tall and one is long. So the rainbow is going to sit underneath the cloud like this. So it's going to be long like this. So what you're going to do is we are going to make our cloud. Now I'm just going to use a crayon for this, but you can use a pencil if you want. And I'm just going to go over to this corner. You see this corner down here on the bottom where my thumb is at? And I'm just going to make a bump. Two, three, four, five. And then you got this flat spot down here. You can take your time. You don't have to have all the same bumps I do, but you want to have some bumps there so it's straight on the bottom. And then if you need a grown up again to help cut, I'm going to cut on those lines. And if you're worried about making your cloud perfect, you don't have to make it perfect. I'm just going to cut mine out like this, and if yours is a little bit different, that's okay too. Maybe it has six bumps, maybe it has four bumps. So now, get rid of our trash. Just throw it on my floor up there. So now, it should look like that. So when you slide that rainbow underneath of it, cloud with a rainbow. So what we got to do is we got to attach our rainbow. So we're going to set that right there. We're going to get a glue stick. And remember our rainbow is long like this, but I'm going to turn it to the side and on one end up here, you see how my glue stick's going on. You should be able to see that pretty good on the camera because I used a purple one. I'm going to go a little bit down and I'm going to put lots of glue. Remember we got to use lots of glue so it sticks. And then all you gotta do is take that cloud where that glue stick is, and you're gonna set it on there and smash it down flat. So now it's stuck. But I think it's not, not finished yet. It's kind of boring. So what I'm gonna do is a black crayon, and I think he needs to be a happy cloud. So I'm gonna take my black crayon, and I'm gonna draw one circle. And I'm gonna draw two circles. What do those look like? look like eyes and inside I'm gonna give him the part of his eyes in the middle so I'm gonna do another circle and fill it in and I'm gonna do another little circle I'm gonna fill it in what else do you think he needs I think he needs a smile so I'm gonna give him a smile boop boop you can give him a tongue you can give him you can make it a girl you can make eyelashes on there here I'll make some eyelashes make it a girl cloud you don't have to if you want to be a boy cloud. And then you can use a pink one. You can just give her a couple little circles here if you want to make it a girl. And you can give, them, give her some pink cheeks. You can make it however you want when it's done. And that's what it's going to look like. And now you've made yourself a really cute rainbow cloud. Alright guys, so we have made our loud rainbow I have two of them. I have a boy. I have my little girl, Cloud Rainbow. I hope you had fun making these. I think they'll bring a lot of brightness to your room or maybe to your refrigerator or the wall or a window. Make sure you ask your parents' permission before you hang it up, of course. 
Um, but I hope you had a really good time. I had a really good time showing you how to draw a rainbow cloud. It's not quite what I would have planned, but I hope you've had a good time doing it. If you have a parent that has Facebook, you can have them upload a picture of your really cool rainbow cloud and you can put it on the Facebook page post that has this video on it, um, or Miss Jessica's Art Room on Facebook. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful week at school and I will see you guys next time. Bye!